Welcome everybody. Bienvenidos. It is a great day for the city of McAllen and it is a wonderful day for McAllen International Airport. Our team has been working round the clock to be able to welcome you here today and we're elated that all of you have joined us on this beautiful morning. I want to start off this morning by acknowledging our special guest. I would like to recognize our mayor, Jim Darling, who is with us this morning. Thank you for being here, Mayor. Our United States representatives, uh, we have a Congressman um, Ruben Hinojosa. Thank you for being with us this morning. And then we've got Congressman Henry Cuellar with us this morning as well. We also want to acknowledge the city manager's office. We've got our city manager, Roy Rodriguez, with us this morning. Some of our assistant city managers, we have Mr. Joe Vera, and we have Ms. Michelle Leftwich with us this morning as well. I would like to recognize uh, this morning our TSA officials. We have our federal security director, Mr. Jess Presas, with us this morning. And very important to us is our airport advisory board. So I'm very pleased to uh, introduce to you all our chairman, Mr. Ben Smith, our vice chair, Ms. Francie Jones, and the rest of our board who joins us this morning. Thank you all for all of your support. We've got some special guests with us. Most of our work we cannot do without a great economic development team and chamber team. And I want to recognize the president of our chamber, Steve Alanius, who is here. And I know some of his board may be here as well. Thank you to you all. Um, and we also have with us our MEDC president, and that is Mr. Keith Patridge. And he's here, his team is here. His board is here, and we thank you all for all of your support as well. We have with us as well um, different regional partners, and we're really excited to welcome this morning uh, Julian Alvarez with the RGV Partnership. Thank you, Julian. Alex Mead with Missions EDC. Thank you for joining us this morning. And we've got Ana Garcia with Senator Cornyn's office. She is their regional director. Thank you so much for being us, with us this morning. Well, to start off the program, I just want to talk a little bit about the phenomenal growth that McAllen International Airport has had with double-digit employment growth in both 2013 and 2014, McAllen International Airport has now captured 50% of the Rio Grande Valley's market share. That's a tremendous success for us, and we're very happy about those numbers and that success that we've been able to see. We're also growing in terms of the frequency of service. American Airlines recently announced a sixth departure to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We're growing in terms of fleet capacity. United Airlines has just recently announced that they will be introducing two mainline departures on the Airbus 319. That's a huge improvement and a step up from the small regional planes some of us are used to traveling on. In addition to that, they're looking at upgrading the small ERJ planes with Embraer 175. So we'll all have a little bit more room coming June. And then in addition to that, we continue to offer the most nonstop destinations out of the Rio Grande Valley with direct service to Dallas, Houston, Las Vegas, Mexico City, and seasonal service to Los Angeles and Orlando. We're here today to celebrate the culmination of all of this growth and the completion of a great project, our terminal expansion project. Without further ado, I would like to invite Mayor Darling to come up and give you all his official welcome. Thank you, Liz, and welcome distinguished guests and um, everybody else. It's not, you know, we're all distinguished guests here. You know, uh, I was thinking about that. One of the things about being around a long time is I remember um, our old airport. Our old airport was established in 1940 and really was operated out of a, we expanded that and expanded that until the expansion didn't make any sense. And so we built this airport here in 1993. And uh, I had fond memories of the old airport. I remember our first jetway, for instance. That was kind of a big deal. 
but how fast you forgot how getting on a plane by uh, uh, going up a ramp versus a jetway. And I think people are going to be forgetting. In fact, I forgot how bad it was over here at TSA. It was such a cramped space, and it's a wide space. And next week, people won't even remember going through there, and that's, that's very fortunate. I think an uh, airport is a snapshot of the economic vitality of your city and region. And I fly around a lot when I go in. I can kind of tell how that city's doing, how that region's doing, by when I go through that airport and see what that's like. And that's why it's so important for us to make sure that we have a, an airport that symbolizes the economic vitality of our region. That's why we have the regional uh, the Chamber of Commerce here, that's why we have representatives from the City of Mission here, because this airport does is a snapshot, not only for the City of McAllen, but for our region. And I think what a snapshot it is to show the economic vitality uh, of not only the City of McAllen, but our region. You know, we also have other gateways. We're spending a multi-million dollar project, our International Bridge, because that's a gateway for many of our citizens to come across. If you look at our bus station, that's probably one of the nicest bus stations you will ever see because that's a gateway to our city. And so it's important that we show that, that when somebody hits McAllen, they realize they're coming into an area that has economic vitality and cares about their gateway and their presence in our community. This terminal expansion costs 26.4 million. The one in 1993, when we built the whole thing, it cost 30 million, so it had a little inflation uh, there for that. Uh, but uh, I think if you'll find out, we're getting a little bit of everything for everybody. Parking lot improvements, TSA improvements, not only that you can see, but in their offices, baggage handling to make it more efficient for our passenger, and certainly the ambiance of, uh, of the new gate, the new expansion, the restaurants, the bar, and everything else that makes this a wonderful place. So I'm very proud to, to be here. I'm very proud to be the mayor for this expansion. We have a lot of other people that uh, were before me that were involved in the growth of all our airport, and we thank all them. We hope that you enjoy this new airport uh, expansion. We, we're very proud of it, um, and um, hopefully we'll be partners with the federal government for more and better things to come in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. We've got a great announcement that Jess Perezas, our Federal Security Director with TSA, is going to be making. But before he comes up, I really want to take the time to thank TSA. Uh, most airport directors uh, gr uh, are grumpy anytime they've got to deal with a TSA issue. But you know what? We have a first class act and we're really proud of the team that TSA has dedicated to our airport. Jess Perezas has been a tremendous resource for us and his assistant federal security director. Um, and Bart, I'm sorry if I massacre your last name, but Bart Bart Bartonowicz, he's been a tremendous resource for us as well. And we're really happy to be able to have this be your home. Thank you for all you've done. We've got some exciting news from them. So Jess, please join us up here. Thank you, Elizabeth. I really appreciate the kind words, and uh, I have to agree, we have a great partnership, and I appreciate that. Um, good morning, um, Mayor Darling, Congressman Hinojosa, Congressman Cuellar, uh, city managers and commissioners, and uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really pleased to be here today uh, to celebrate the opening of the new terminal. Our new inline baggage screening system, the new security checkpoint, which is right behind you, uh, and the launch of TSA PreCheck, which some of you may have experienced in, if you travel through other airports uh, around the United States. I'd like to thank uh, Director of Aviation Elizabeth Suarez um, and her staff and the City of McAllen for their partnership. And I'd like to thank our TSA employees here for their hard work and collaboration uh, with the airport as well as with the city. In August of 2011, TSA uh, announced a $6.4 million award to the City of McAllen for the construction of the inline baggage screening system as part of the airport's new terminal project. The addition of this sophisticated screening system has significantly improved the speed and efficiency of our baggage screening operations. The new inline system, <clears throat> which was completed in December of 2014, makes the bag check-in process much more convenient for passengers. It also reduces the number of physical bag searches that have to be done and conducted by TSA. So instead of manually moving the bags to the screening areas, passengers can now check them in at the airline ticket counter. And the bags are screened through a fully automated system and delivered directly to the airlines for loading onto the aircraft. The new terminal also includes space for TSA offices as well as a new security checkpoint. The checkpoint has the most sophisticated equipment available, included advanced 
technology x-ray machines, and advanced imagery technology, AIT. The design is flexible and expandable so that we can upgrade our equipment and processes as security practices continue to evolve. I'm also pleased to announce the rollout of TSA PreCheck. TSA PreCheck is a risk-based security program that allows enrolled passengers to experience an expedited screening experience. This means they don't have to remove their shoes, their belts, or light jackets, and they can keep their laptops and their uh, 311 bags of liquids and gels in their carry-on when flying out through participating airlines. We look forward to working, uh, continue to work with Ms. Suarez and her talented staff to make traveling out of McAllen a very safe and enjoyable experience. Thank you. Thank you, Jess. Before we continue with our program, I wanted to take uh, some time to introduce Commissioner Whitaker, who just joined us. So thank you for joining us this morning, Commissioner. Next on our program, we've got some remarks from Congressman Ruben Hinojosa. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It is a pleasure to be here with my colleague, Congressman Henry Cuellar, to celebrate the opening of this new terminal right here in McAllen International Airport. On a personal note, I want to say that it is a real pleasure to work in a coalition with Congressman Cuellar, who comes to us from Laredo and represents part of Hidalgo County as well as with my good friend Filimon Vela, who comes from Brownsville and also represents part of Hidalgo. And together we've been able to work on projects that naysayers said couldn't be done. And certainly this one is one of those. I uh, can tell you that we're fortunate to have only one Texan on the Appropriations Committee, and that happens to be Henry Cuella. We used to have three appropriators from the state of Texas, and when we lost the majority, uh, we were cut back to just one. But he has definitely helped us a great deal on many different projects that are important to the Rio Grande Valley. And so, Henry, thank you for the outstanding work that you do, not only on the Appropriations Committee, but on many other subjects that are of great importance to this area, including transportation, education, health care, and many other areas that your committee is responsible for giving us federal funding. I also want to commend Liz Suarez. Where is Liz? <laughs> She's still working. Liz, I want to congratulate you for the uh, great work that you and the direct as director of aviation and your predecessor with whom Henry and I worked, Phil Brown, for your vision of what this airport could become. I want to thank the entire airport staff, the contractors, construction workers, and architects for the years of hard work they have put into this project. As a very frequent flyer and traveler through this airport, I have seen almost every phase of this project. Every time I landed, something new was being constructed, moved around, or finished. So it's exciting to see the completed project and to know that this new terminal will facilitate travel and commerce to our area. I want to follow up with Mayor Darling's uh, opening remarks and how he remembers the old airport, which was tiny, but we didn't know any better. And uh, he said that in 1993, we opened up what, where we are now, but on a much smaller scale. And I want to remind everybody that it was that year, January, February 8th and 9th, that we hosted President Bill Clinton. The last sitting president that came to visit us in Hidalgo County was Eisenhower in 1953. <laughs> And we had this void for 45 years that, in my opinion, Rio Grande Valley had been neglected by both the state and the federal government. 
because they thought that this was just a rural, poor rural area, and consequently they gave us very small amounts of money and certainly didn't think that we would ever have I-69, at least to the point that we have it today. So I remember the phone call from the president to my office and said, do you remember that invitation you gave me to come down to your district? I said, yes, sir. He says, well, I've accepted. Would uh, uh, February 8th and 9th be okay with you? I said, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, things got started and moving and we're ready to receive the president. I got another phone call from his chief of staff and says, we've got a problem. He says, we're gonna, we want to land in McAllen, but the airport, the airport rather, cannot accommodate Air Force One. What are we gonna do? I said, oh my God, I didn't think about that. He says, well, they're recommending to us that we land in Brownsville and maybe we can use helicopters to move him from Brownsville to McAllen, and that's exactly what happened. But what an improvement from that day to now. Because right after that happened, I was very insistent that we had to have the appropriations necessary to expand the runway. And somebody like Keith Partridge will remember all the visits that we made to uh, justify that first big funding that improved the, the the runways and everything that was necessary for Air Force One. And consequently, we not only got Air Force One plane, but Air Force Two with the Vice President. So we've seen jump forward to today, great improvements here, and we're delighted to join you. All of this would not have been possible without support from every level of government. All our commissioners are here, many of you are here, and the way that you all are working together with our with our mayor and city manager and his assistant is amazing. And we're proud to be a part of the team that are making things happen here in the Rio Grande Valley. I especially want to thank Mayor Jim Darling, his city manager, Roy Rodriguez, and the city of McAllen for their investment in this project. This airport is a vital component to the economic growth in this region and will strengthen our position as a gateway between all of the countries in the Americas. Congratulations, and again, to everyone who worked on this project. I look forward to using all of the new facilities at the airport as I fly back and forth to Washington. And again, welcome, Congressman Cuellar, and thank you for all that you're doing to help us in the Rio Grande Valley. Thank you, Congressman Hinojosa. I'd like to invite Congressman Henry Cuellar up. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you uh, so much. And Ruben, it's always a pleasure seeing you here again. And thank you for the uh, leadership in the uh, congressional delegation of the Valley. It's uh, Ruben's our senior uh, member. Uh, we want to thank you for your leadership. And of course, uh, Philemon Vela and then myself, three of us, and we worked very, very well together. So again, thank you for your leadership and education and so many other issues uh, that you've done. So thank you again. I know we also have Anna here from uh, uh, the Senator's office. Oh, there you are. Uh, also, I want to thank also Senator Cornyn. He and I worked very, uh, in a very good way, in a bipartisan way. We need to have more bipartisanship in Washington, D.C., and certainly I want to thank him also. Um, as you know, the Senator is now the second ranking uh, Republican uh, in the majority up there, which uh, gives us pretty good leverage so he can work with Ruben, myself, and the other folks. So, you know, my best to the uh, senator itself. Uh, mayor, it's always a pleasure. Uh, never heard that. Our darling, Mayor Darling, I think somebody called you that. That was your advertising folks a few minutes ago. But again, Mayor, it's always a pleasure and, and certainly want to thank you. And of course, the city manager and the list SWAT is also. Um, I used to represent this uh, airport uh, back in 2011, as you know, redistricting moved me down a little bit. Uh, Ruben now represents it, so I want to work with Ruben to make sure that we build upon what we've done here. Uh, I sit now on the appropriations uh, two subcommittees. One is Homeland, which deals with TSA, uh, and Border Patrol, CBP. As you know, we've done some changes at CBP on the professionalism. Uh, the pride initiative to make sure that if they're here that they treat people with the respect uh, that people deserve as they provide that security but balance it with um, trade and tourism 
Uh, and also now the other committee I sit in is the appropriations for transportation uh, and housing, but that includes airports also, Mayor. Uh, so we got to look at making sure that we extend uh, the uh, runways uh, so we can handle more cargo planes, uh, more trade as trade uh, continues with Mexico and other parts. And of course the towers, the towers are always important to make sure that we have that. So I will work with my good friend Ruben uh, to address uh, those issues in the, uh, in the transportation appropriations. By the way, Mayor, because uh, the border is so important, we've been working with, uh, with Ruben uh, and Senator Cornyn. We added some language. Uh, as you know, the administration has freight couriers uh, where you know, freight is going to carry along. We're talking about land here. Uh, but one of the changes I added uh, to make sure that people in Washington understand that if we're going to have freight couriers, they start in the middle of the bridge. Uh, and the infrastructure around the bridge, and actually we have language now to address that, but it also includes the airports that we have on the border because, again, uh, the border is so important to our local economy. You know, with these funds uh, that uh, were awarded, uh, I believe about, altogether it's about a $26.5 million project roughly. Uh, half of it, uh, 12.4, were federal dollars uh, awarded in 2011 coming from the FAA and TSA. Uh, with this, uh, McCown was able to add another 55,000 square feet to the 45,000. We now have over 100,000 square feet for this. Uh, we now have a little bit more post-security seating, uh, which is again important, especially when those Legion planes come in from Las Vegas and other places. Uh, and of course, uh, this was important because I know that Mayor Cortez, uh, he was a mayor, he took me down. We went down there with Mike Perez and other folks down uh, to see there. But one of the things that we wanted to see was to add another terminal gate. And I believe now we have added, uh, there's now a total of six. Uh, and again, with more uh, terminals, more gates, that means more capacity and more planes that you can handle itself. Uh, safety and efficiency were the two primary objectives of this expansion. Uh, you mentioned, uh, Mr. Presses, um, the check package inspection system, the CBIS, uh, which is again the state-of-the-art screening machines to replace the old machines that you had at this time, new ticket counters, monitors equipped with, with a share use passenger processing system, and again, more and more and more uh, things that came in to make sure that we have an airport that can compete with any airport in the state of Texas, because again, we wanted to make sure uh, that, uh, you know, that we took care of the security issue, but in a way that we treat the people the way they should be treated, because again, they're spending money here, they're citizens or visitors coming in, uh, and that includes the expansion of food and beverage concessions, new family restrooms, a larger, uh, the, the new retail store, all of that to make sure that we modernize this airport. So again, it's been a team effort, and I certainly want to thank everybody, the, the city, the, 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 uh, uh, the, uh, the committee members, and of course, uh, the federal government. Uh, again, Ruben, to you, thank you. Uh, Senator Cornyn, again, thank you. And of course, the team that put this together uh, from the past, uh, Mayor Cortez and the other folks that uh, uh, were so instrumental to this. And again, uh, this is a good step. We got to do more. We got to make sure we have long runways, make sure we have the right towers to handle the instrument landings and everything that we need. And if we continue working uh, together as a team, this airport will compete with any airport in Texas and across the nation. Thank you so much for all the good work that you all have done. I'd like another round of applause for both congressmen. We're truly grateful for that support and that welcoming um, attitude every time we're in DC. Thank you all for that. Um, we continue with our program. We always boast that we've got the best board and it's probably because we do. Our board's been working really closely alongside us throughout this project. And I wanna take some time to introduce Ben Smith, who is our airport advisory chair. And uh, we'd like for him to share a few remarks. Thank you very much. Uh, you did not tell me I'd be following the footsteps of two U.S. congressmen, but I'll do my best. You do much better uh, than we are. <laughs> um, from a local level, I, the board, I'm representing the board, we'd like to acknowledge Liz and Jeremy and the rest of the airport staff as well. I don't know where Jeremy is, but there's probably no one here that has a bigger smile than he does today. Um, you know, a $27 million project usually doesn't go without its hitches, or as you can see in some cases, the weather. They've done a phenomenal job keeping the process going along. 
and here we are, look what, what we have. Also, we'd like to acknowledge our, both our current uh, city commissioners, city manager's office, and the mayor, as well as prior administrations. You know, I'm not in their footsteps, but I'm sure it's pretty easy to react to what they need to do today and tomorrow and maybe even a month from now. But to have the vision of what we need as citizens when they will no longer be in office 30 years from now, we will still be, uh, or those behind us, will still be utilizing this airport. So kudos to them. Thank you as a taxpayer, not just as a chair. We appreciate it. Uh, Veronica, commissioners as well, thanks to all of you. And fly McAllen. Thank you, Ben. Um, before we resume our program, I wanted to take some time to thank all my fellow directors with the city for all their help. Um, this has truly been a team effort, and the airport would not be here today with all of your help. So thank you to all of you. Um, finally, I would like to welcome our city manager, Roy Rodriguez, to conclude our program today. Thank you, Liz. Uh, ben, I, I know how you feel. Where's Ben? Try being last. I was going to say everything that you guys said, <clears throat> starting with the congressman. No, let me say uh, thank you so much, congressman, for, for being here in this very, very special event. Um, you know, uh, one of the points that, that Ben brought up and one of our congressmen is that it, it doesn't really matter who the people that come up here from the city staff or for, uh, from administration, for that matter, come up here. There's a culture in McAllen, and that culture is that we want to be second to none, no matter what we do, whether it's the infrastructure outside of this facility or this facility. This is what we do. We're very, very proud of, of the service and facilities that we provide our citizens. We understand that we not only serve the citizens of McAllen, that we serve Hidalgo and beyond. And that commitment, that culture is going to continue no matter who's at this podium. Uh, I'm very proud of being a very small part of this project. It was a tough project. And you're right, the, the tenacity and the will of our staff the contractor, our city commission, and this board is what made this happen. So our commitment is very simple. We're going to continue to do everything that we can so that people talk about us the way we're used to, and that is there's no place else like McAllen. We're ready for takeoff. Thank you.